Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. That look you just gave. It was like, we might do something we shouldn't be doing. That's a big goofball is what it is. And I can't believe it's Monday already. Oh, don't I know. My weekend flew by, and I did yeah. nothing really. I mean, we were inside what, the Did you go weekend. somewhere or did you stay home? We, we stayed home. <laughs> Yeah, but somehow it still <laughs> flew by. I don't I know. know. I mean, you would think the days would be dragging whenever you're at home, but somehow this weekend went fast. It really me. did. Okay, so tell me what you did this weekend. All right, let's talk about the weekend. And I will tell you, on Saturday afternoon, we decided to tape. Uh, so we're doing this cooking with the crew. Right. So I'm part of the crew. So uh, I decided, oh, I'm armed with a very big knife there. <laughs> I decided that I would make an omelet that I made Saturday morning. Gary said, hey, this is pretty good. Let's do, let's do this as a, something for the show. So Gary is taping this. Okay. Let me tell you, thank goodness that we're still married because... Think <laughs> things didn't go well, David? Well, it just, we had creative differences. That's what we learned. We both have very strong ideas about how things should look. And so, like, I was concerned about the window being behind, you know, and so I was telling him, oh, no, you need to shoot it from here. And he was like, oh, no, I'm going to shoot it from over here. You look, you can't see the skillet. You're not. And so anyway, when the whole thing was over, I was like, whew, thank goodness. It's more work than you, if you would have just brought all the stuff here, huh? Yeah, that's true. I probably could have brought it here. Next but time. you know what? You know, it, it all worked out in the end. Well, and we you persevered. Had an, you had an omelet to celebrate after we it was did. done. Yeah, and we're going to show that on the show coming up. I don't know if it's this week or next, but I have to get approval from Jill first. She has to look at it. I have a sure. feeling she'll give you the thumbs up. Okay. And she has she, to taste it, she said. Are you going to bring in one? No, I ate it all. I guess I'll make a new one. Yeah. Thank you better. All right. And then I have one more picture for my weekend that shows you just how exciting it is. But I keep finding things that I didn't know I had. And I found, I love, these remind me of school. Yes. Do you remember, like, because you had to take those tests, you had to fill in the little circles the with number two the number two pencil, and I love pencils. So we <laughs> we have to get supplies for school. You know, you have mm -hmm. to bring in some supplies for school that the kids will then keep in their classrooms. Right. And I, I when I had the list, it was that brand of pencil. Dixon Ticonderoga. Yes. <laughs> number Very two. Very <laughs> specific. And I was like, why are these so specific? But it's because maybe they are the best. Maybe they are. Yeah. But anyway, I found them in a drawer, and that made me happy, so I took a picture. Heather, top it's, that. It's really the little <laughs> things or the big things. At this things. point, I think it is the little things sometimes. Well, we had a lot of fun on Saturday celebrating Lucy's sixth birthday. So everybody socially distancing came oh, out of their homes. You have the best street. The we people really on do. your street, I love your street. I'm so glad that we lowered the audio on this because when you're taking the video, it's your voice that you hear the most. <laughs> so I'm glad that we lowered that. But so, so Lucy's mom, Laura, was very upset because, you know, Lucy wanted a big birthday. She was going to yeah. have a fairy birthday. And uh, unfortunately, that couldn't happen. So she asked initially if we could all post, put something in our windows to say happy birthday right. to her so that Lucy could walk around the neighborhood. And we thought, we'll top it. We'll all come outside and sing to her. And I want to show a picture of the birthday girl. That's this is so cool. Lucy. And happy sixth birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Lucy. I know. Now her picture's on television. There you go. So, so we hope that it was a good day, even though you didn't get your big party. And then, and because that. it is the little things, yesterday, yes. I made homemade French onion soup. Oh, I saw a picture of this on Instagram. And it was so <laughs> good. Now, Frankie, how, you need some red wine. You probably do. When, I think it making, pairs quite well. Oh, when you're making when it. When you're making it. So I use some red wine when you're making. So you, you mean it's in the recipe or you're drinking is. red wine? It is, but oh. you only need a cup of red wine. So I gave Frankie the rest of it. <laughs> and he said, This is the best French onion soup I've ever had. I think that's and how to do it. <laughs> you just give him wine, and then whatever you've made is going to taste better. Not my recipe. It came from Food Network, but it was, he said it was hands down the best he's had. Are you going to make that for us on the show? Well, it's not my recipe, so I would feel bad, but I could. Well, just give credit to, you know, Food Network, Food Network yeah. or whatever. It's, it, and it's it Heather Abraham's good. version of it, and we'll crack open some wine, and I think we'll have a good time. I will say that everything in my house now smells like onion. Onion. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's a very downfall. strong flavor, yes. It is.
All right. Well, that was a great weekend. Uh, and if you need a drink at this point, <laughs> we do have some good news because yeah. they are expanding the curbside pickup at the state stores and it starts today. So yeah. they're adding what? Almost 400 more, right? So, so they have 170 some stores that are already open. They're adding an additional 300 plus mm -hmm. to the location list. Yeah. So it, it's a huge addition. Uh, they were, gosh, inundated with calls. Yeah. I mean, to... people were frustrated too. Right. So hopefully this will. Ease some of that frustration. Yeah. Uh, most of the stores are open Monday through Saturday, but again, they will only take limited calls each day. And if you do manage to get through, you can only order up to six bottles at a time. <laughs> you, you laugh. <laughs> I because I, I get we don't drink like that so you know if we if we're having a party six you know, is, is plenty unless you're making French I mean, onion soup dang. and you need to. Yeah, crack and you open may need them. a couple bottles yeah. of wine, but still, yeah, it's funny right. to me. <laughs> so our viewers are the smartest ever. We they thank are. you. Yes. So on Friday, we were talking about YouTube and how it had its 15th anniversary, mm -hmm. and the very right, first video are. on YouTube yeah. is this guy yeah. talking about an elephant in the zoo. It's called Me at the Zoo. And so we immediately started getting emails from people telling us that this is actually one of the co-founders, Jawad Karim. Um, so he posted the first video to YouTube, but we, when we were talking about it last week, did not realize who no, it was. No, we didn't we know. Maybe it was just some random guy who got in first. And it turns out he's probably a billionaire now, you well, know? Like, probably. I mean, YouTube's yeah. big. I would say so. He's so, probably, yeah. probably doing okay. He's probably doing okay. All right, well, YouTube technology, there's, uh, there's another kind of technology that, and this is just, I, I don't know whether it's neat or disturbing, but. Well, it's a little, that's how I think the state of everything right now. Yeah. It's yeah. very true. So in Italy, is that where it is? Italy. Oh, Poland. Poland. Oh, Poland. So a businessman <laughs> set up a vending machine for face masks. Yeah. So you can, I mean, just like a candy bar, only this time it's face masks. And what, what sort, I think that right now this makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, people need this and um, it doesn't Gosh, look like there's very many face masks out. left in there, but um, that's probably because they're in high demand. What's scary about it to me is what, what if this is the new normal? What if like we're going to see vending machines here with face masks and that we, we, you know, occasionally need to have a face mask? Well, Let's just say that if it is the new normal, eventually it will just be normal. And right now it may be scary, true. and eventually it will just become what it is. I mean, uh, you know. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. But well, here's here's my question for that. If you've ever been to a Sam's Club or, or some store like that where they sell their own bottled water, every bottle is the same, but you still get a row to choose from. So are the face masks different? If you pick 32, is 32 the same? I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe they could come in different sizes. Maybe. You know, I mean, children's face masks, you know, football player face masks. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Some variation would be nice. Well, At least have some fun with it. Well, another example of technology helping uh, is happening in Belgium, and it has to do with social distancing. Mm -hmm. So this kind of looks like a wristwatch, but what it really does is it tells you if you're getting too close to someone else. The sensor goes off, and ding, 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 you know, step back. Before social distancing, have you ever been in a checkout line waiting? And somebody gets obnoxiously close to you, and you're just kind of like. You mean like comes up from behind? Behind you. Oh yeah, I mean, before that's happened. all of this, and yeah. and you're just kind of like There's nowhere right. for you to go. Right. But now this person is right behind you, and you're well, just, it's like they're like, putting pressure on you to put your items on the belt. Yeah. You know, like you can get it done a little faster. Meantime, you still have to step back to pay. Right. Yeah. That was before. That was before. And now this is now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a whole we're new keeping world. Our, we're keeping our distance now. Yeah. All right, so we want to show you something that will make you smile because it made us smile. So this is from a zoo in Oregon. In fact, it's the Oregon Zoo. Uh, of course, all zoos are closed right now, but they wanted to make sure Nacho the penguin got his exercise. I have seen some great <laughs> videos of llamas going for walks through mm -hmm. zoos and all, and I think these are fantastic. They at least lift your spirits a little bit to see something like this. And he genuinely seems interested in the otters there. Yeah. Like you can see him look well, not right there, but he was looking. <laughs> but he stopped. He paused. He, he paused, <laughs> and the otters. I'm not sure that they noticed Nacho. Also, what a great name for a penguin. Yeah. Nacho. It's kind of like Dog the penguin that we think exists at the Pittsburgh. We, we, we still we have to get to the bottom <laughs> of that. We, we have a dog named Penguin. They have a penguin named Dog. Allegedly. Allegedly. We're still waiting for answers. All right. It is time.
for a rapid fire quiz. I just love to do this and pretend that I'm a game show host. <laughs> <laughs> and the only person to quiz is you, Heather. So I'm the lucky winner. Yes. By so default. Th these are all quarantine related questions, and we're gonna learn more about how Heather Abraham is handling the quarantine. Okay. All right, so lots of people are watching more TV. Your favorite movie of all time. Of all time. Of all time. That's a tough question. There's so many different No, there are different genres and yes. just just pick one. first thing that pops into your head. I don't come on. I, come on. I don't know, but I've been stuck on kid movies, so let's just say Labyrinth. Okay, all right. With David what's your, Bowie. What's your least favorite movie? I hate any kind of movie that is a, a comedy of errors for the main character. Oh, and you're like cringing and feeling bad for well, the main yeah, character. Yeah, it gives me a lot of anxiety. So like family vacation. Well, yeah, I've never Christmas seen Christmas vacation. That. Oh, yeah, well, Christmas vacation, yeah. yeah whatever yeah. those. Yeah. Where yeah. things kind of go awry. I can't. All right, margarita or daiquiri? Margarita. Okay, cookies or brownies? Brownies. Would you rather reorganize the closet or plant stuff in the yard? Oh, I would clean all day if I could. Okay, there you go. Oh, HGTV or Food Network? Food Network. Okay. Uh, if you're ordering in food, is it going to be pizza or Chinese? Both. Okay. They're Saturday and Sunday, David. I love how you answered so quickly to that, too. If you're making dinner, lasagna or meatloaf? Come on, David. I'm thinking it's lasagna. What? No, really? Meatloaf. Well, you did mention meatloaf last week on the show. That was like your most I memorable do. first restaurant, I do right? I do love lasagna too, though. Okay. But right. meatloaf. Uh, if you're trying to get some exercise, do you run around the block or use the stationary bike? Also, you know me, David. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm going to say run around the block. If yeah. I needed to choose. If you needed to choose. <laughs> right. if, you, if exercise were going to happen. All right, it's spring. Things are starting to bloom. What is your favorite flower to receive? Uh, Someone's sending you flowers, Frankie. It's, <laughs> it doesn't, it, it's usually one in a bouquet, but I love hydrangeas. Oh, They're yeah. my favorite. They are gorgeous. Yeah. All right, what sport do you miss the most? Hockey or baseball? Baseball. Okay. Uh, name an item you'd always rather have delivered to your house, even when this is all over, that you don't want to lug around at the store and bring home? Dinner. Oh, that's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and is that an answer? <laughs> the last question is, how many days of the weekend did you wear sweatpants? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both? Okay. I mean, uh, yeah. I change as soon as I get home every day. It's like Mr. Rogers. That's to the what I do too. Degree. I get out of the work clothes yes. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. I wear shorts around the house a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I wear Frankie's old t-shirts and sweatpants and yeah. I, it's not a good look. No, but you're it's comfy. Comfortable. Yeah, that's the I always said. That's the important part. It's easier to parent in sweatpants. <laughs> Wise it's words from Heather Abraham it's to start truth. your Monday. <laughs> All right, coming up, we have had cooking with the crew here on PTL. In fact, tomorrow is Heather's day to cook. But just ahead today, we are crafting with the crew. Yeah, Annie on our studio crew and crafty lady herself teaches me a fun, nearly no cost project for the kids. Also, you wanted to know, and we're inclined to answer a story oh. with lots of ups and downs and apparently <laughs> some puns and a few surprises <laughs> all about Pittsburgh's inclines that is coming up. Plus, this sounds like a win-win. Buy a gift card, get a nice discount, and help support local businesses downtown and in the Strip. Mikey Hood is live in Market Square to tell us about this gift card give back deal. And spirited sales. The coronavirus is stirring up interest in local distilleries and wineries like never before. See how these small businesses are keeping up with the big demand. Thank you for being with us on this Monday, April 27th. Pittsburgh Today Live is just getting started.